If you are trying to prove your competence or expertise in your subject matter, in your business, in what you're, you know, what you provide, stop. That's not why people would hire you. Hi, this is Mark Silver with Heart of Business. And I find that a lot of business owners get caught up in this idea that, wow, if I can just wow people, probably not thinking of wowing people, but if I can just show them that I really know what I'm doing, that I have expertise in this, that I have the terminology, that I have the language, that I have the skill, I have the experience, that they'll hire me, that that's what's keeping them from hiring me, from coming to me, from seeing me as a client. And that's not it. It's not that you don't have to show competence. Of course you do. You know, people want to know that you know what you're doing, but that's, that's like a, there's like a minimum threshold. And once that's passed, they don't care anymore. What they really want to know is why, like, what can you help them with? You know, what can you help them with? Everybody in this world is working with something, <laughs> you know, struggling with something. There's something that they can't solve to their satisfaction on their own, or they can't come to a, you know, a point where they're really happy and they, they're, they've gotten to where they want, whether it's work or relationship or health or, you know, all these different topics. Let's say you know Chinese medicine really well. You're a doctor of Chinese medicine and that's your expertise. People are not gonna hire you because you can talk about the principles of Chinese medicine and the elements and how they interact and what's going on with the seasons and all of those pieces. That's not why someone would hire you. Someone might be interested in it going, oh wow, that's kind of interesting. I'll." follow that for a little bit until I get bored or maybe I want to become a doctor of Chinese medicine myself and so I'll I'll follow it more but that's not why they spend money and time hiring you they want to know what can you help me with can you help me with this thing that I'm facing there's a big difference between look at my expertise in Chinese medicine and you know if you're struggling with chronic illness and you don't know if you're going to have a good day or not. And you've tried all these things with Western medicine. And sometimes it does a little bit, but it's not consistent. And you don't really get back to the vitality and health that you're wanting. Let me help you. Let me help you get a handle on your chronic illness and bring your body up to full health so that you can depend on it, so that you can live a far more vital life. Do you see the difference there between proving expertise and meeting them where they're struggling with caring, with empathy, holding out your hand saying, let me help you with this thing you're struggling with. The more concrete and specific you can get with that in language that they understand the more that people will respond. <sighs> it does take some wrestling to get clear on what you want to talk about and what you want to help people with. We help people with that all the time. And so I see how people wrestle and there's a certain amount of wrestling that's really healthy. And there's a certain amount that you kind of like you're spinning and hey, let's, let's make that much easier. But it's so much easier than trying over and over again to prove your expertise in ways that people cared about for the first 10%, but after that, it's not having an impact. Be easier on yourself and just extend your hand to help people with specific things. I hope this is helpful. It's a really basic point that even people who have been in business quite some time can still struggle with. And it's just about meeting people where they're at and holding out your hand.
Blessings to you and your business.